Hello friends, I'm going to start one series for uh, Apache Camel with Spring Boot and in all the Camel routes, I'll be using Java DSL. I've already made some examples in my uh, previous videos, but those are in uh, XML DSL and those are developed in Red Hat Development Studio. So today's example will be very simple and I will be using timer component of Apache Camel and one log statement. So let's get started. Okay, so my example will be uh, in Spring Boot. So I'm not going to create a project, a Spring Boot project from scratch. Instead, I, what I will do, I will use a Spring Initializer and I will just create one uh, Spring Boot project uh, and then I will use that project and will modify that. So I can go to a Spring Initializer and uh, I'll select Maven project and I can give artifact name my timer and I can use uh, Java 8 version. And as a dependency, you can add web. That's just a basic dependency I'm adding. And that's it. I will just uh, click on this generate button and my project will be downloaded. I can download this into, I'll just create one folder here. Timer component. And I will just save this part. And I'll just open this one. Now I will go to my Eclipse and I will import that project. I'll go to file and we'll say import and existing Maven project. I'll go next and I will browse that project which I have downloaded. So I'll go to my location where I have saved that project. And it is here, timer component. I'll select on this and we'll say next and then finish. So this is a Spring Boot project. If you go to the POM file, you will see here that the dependency which I have selected is added here. That is the web dependency. And uh, just a Maven plugin here. And there's nothing, I mean, there's nothing uh, related to Camel here. So in order to, uh, in order to use a Camel component, basic Camel component, you can add uh, this dependency. That is a Camel Spring Boot starter, and it will uh, cover you basic uh, Camel component. So, uh, in the POM file, you have to add this dependency only. Now, what I will do is that I will go to this file, Java package. Uh, so here, I will go and I will create one class file. I can give any name. My first. And say finish. Okay, so my class is here uh, created. Uh, what I will do is that extend this class with the route builder class, and uh, it will be added one method for you where you can write your camel routes. So I will do extend, and I will say that route builder, and I will save this one. And I will import the package. Now here it is saying that unimported method. So this is the configure method which added for you. And here you can write uh, your camel route. So every camel route start from the keyword from. And uh, so route, if you if you see the route. It is basically like source and destination. It's kind of route which you see on physically, like suppose you have to go from point A to point B. So you have a route. So in the camel, similar kind of things uh, applies. So the starting point is start from the from keyword and destination could be multiple. So all the destination which you are using your camel route uh, will use the keyword too. So what I will do is that, so here I'm just using, uh, so I'm going to use a timer component. So I'll start from the keyword from, I'll say that from. Okay, so here you say from, and what it is asking is that end point. Okay, so if you see the camel documentation, I'll just open that for you. I 
I'll say time timer and okay. So every uh, camel component has specific format, and that is called the URI. So whatever component you will you will use in your camel route, it has URI format. Means something like this one. First is the name of the component, and then colon, any string, whatever you like, and then options. So there could be multiple options for that. So if you see here, there are multiple options that you can use here. Okay. So similar kind of format I will be using in my uh, in my example. So here, if you go down, you see here that uh, the Java example is uh, this one. So I'll just do one thing. I'll just copy this one, and I will go to my example. So this is from, and you see here that same thing. Name of the component and then a string. So here you can put anything. I'll say that my uh, example, my first example, and these are the options which you can. Ask. I mean, there are multiple options that you can use, but I I just use the, this one. Now you have to press the dot here, and it will show you the next uh, things that you can use. So I'm not going to use any other. Component. I'll just use the simple log statement. What I'll do, I'll just say the log, and I'll just say print uh, print some message. I'll say that hello. This is timer example, and I can end this and just semicolon. So my camel route is ready, and uh, I can. Uh, run this example, but before running, uh, see this is the Spring Boot project. So in order to uh, Spring to know about this class, what I will do is that I'll just add the component, and it will put the stereotype. So now this is added. So I'll run this example now. I'll go to timer, and uh, this is the Maven project, and, and Maven dependencies already added. So what I will do, I'll just create one more configuration here, and I'll say the goal as spring minus boot, and here I will give the um, folder name where my project is there, and I'll say apply, and then say run. You see here the thing is printed here, and uh, my camel example. So it is there also as well. And you see route one. What is that? It's just default name of the route. If I want to give my route name, I can do it here. I'll say that ID, and I can give my name. It's my okay. and I can run this example again. So here, I'll see, this is my uh, route, and this is the uh, this is the log which I have just printed, and this log is printing. I can reduce the period so that you can see that it is. I'll say one thousand millisecond. One. Okay, and I will run it again. See, for every one second, it is running the route. Now, uh, this configure method, you can add one more route. So, what I will do, I'll just copy this one and I'll just paste the same thing. Okay. So now, this configure method had two routes. You can add multiple routes if you want to, and but all will be in the configure method. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give ID one and two, and I'll just increase this one so that uh, the time time will be more. Now I'll run again. See here my two routes run, and after ten seconds these will run again, and uh, you will see that that got printed. 
So this was the basics. Uh, now see here, this again, then after 10 seconds. So this is the basic camel example. So uh, what I did is that I just used one uh, timer component and I just uh, gave the name of the route and then print statement. And uh, the Java class, I have used component so that Spring Boot will know that this, uh, if in, in during the scan, it will get this class and it will run it. Okay. And uh, there are multiple options that you can use with that uh, with the timer uh, uh, timer component. There are lots of options are there. <coughs> and uh, uh, you have okay. So one one more thing is that if you want to create route in Java, so you have to um, in in the class you have to extend this route builder 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 class. The basic example that you saw, and uh, you can use uh, various uh, options with this the timer component. And uh, you can uh, you can uh, see the details on Apache Camel website. So if you have any question regarding uh, this uh, this thing, uh, this uh, this route and uh, the timer component, uh, just put your question into the comment section, and uh, I'll be happy to reply that. So thanks for watching. We will meet you in the next video.